Hi, this is Gareth Williams and welcome to secureyourwallet.com. This is an introductory video for people who are new to Bitcoin and we're going to talk about Bitcoin wallets and the different types of Bitcoin wallets that you can get. So an excellent place to start is to go over to bitcoin.org. This is the main Bitcoin website. And if you click on this bit here, get started with Bitcoin. And then you go to choose your wallet. And if you look down here, there's three sort of main types of wallets listed on the bitcoin.org website. So you've got desktop wallets. Now this is client software, which you download off the internet and you install it on your local machine and you actually keep the wallet on your machine and uh, you send and receive Bitcoin on your actual machine. Then you've got mobile wallets and mobile wallets you'd put on a device like a tablet or a smartphone. And if you've got it on your smartphone, you can actually use the app to scan a QR code to pay for things. And then you've got web wallets and web wallets are wallets that you would access through your browser. So you would log on to a website and you'd access your wallet and your bitcoins from this website. So I'm just going to go briefly through the three types and I'll, I'll give an example of each type and what I recommend as the best wallet for each type. So looking at uh, desktop wallets, there's five wallets listed here on the bitcoin.org website. The first one is Bitcoin QT. Now this is the original Bitcoin wallet developed by the original Bitcoin developers. So Bitcoin QT is what's known as a full Bitcoin wallet or a thick wallet. And what this actually means is it downloads the entire blockchain to your machine. Now, if you're not sure what the blockchain is, this is um, actually a ledger of all the transactions ever done on the, on the Bitcoin network right back until the first Bitcoin transaction in 2009. So you actually have to download this blockchain ledger onto your machine and it's about 17 gigabits at the moment and it'll continue to grow. So Bitcoin QT is really for somebody who's got a desktop with lots of hard drive space and a good processor and they don't mind letting their machine become part of the Bitcoin sort of network. Um, it is not really a practical wallet for day to day use. So if you're on a PC, the two most practical wallets are probably Multibit and Electrum. They're both thin wallets and um, they, they get their data from servers so you can install them and you can be up and running straight away. Hive is an excellent wallet if you're on a Mac. It's designed purely for the Mac iOS. Um, it's got a nice interface as well so definitely the one to use if you're a Mac user. Armory is an advanced wallet and it lets you do lots of advanced features like paper storage, cold storage and I go into much more detail about this on some other videos that I've got on my site and on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in those features, go have a look at the video on Armory. But if you're just starting off, you probably want to use Multibit or Electrum. Now, personally, I prefer the interface on Multibit, but the best one to use would be Electrum. When you install Electrum, you actually create what's known as a seed, and it's just a, it's just a bunch of words, random words, and if you keep these stored in a safe place, if you ever lose your laptop or your hard drive crashes and you've lost access to your wallet, if you've got this seed, you can reinstall Electrum and you can recover your wallet and all your Bitcoins. So this is a great feature of Electrum and it's a feature that Multibit doesn't have. So for that feature alone, I would recommend that you use Electrum. So I'm just going to take a quick look at Electrum. I've got it installed on this spare machine. I'm just going to open it up. Um, it's quite a basic sort of interface. It's nothing fancy. I suspect over time as wallets mature and develop, they'll get much nicer and the interfaces will look a lot nicer. But um, you've got your send option here. So you can put uh, the, uh, the Bitcoin address of the person you want to send to. You have your receive address and it actually gives you six addresses here. So these long string of numbers and capital and lowercase letters. It's actually your public address for your Bitcoin wallet. You can create contacts. So if you send Bitcoins to people regularly, you can put them in here. And it's got a, a console which you can use to um, talk to talk to people. 
and then there's a history here of all your transactions now down here on this little icon this yellow icon it, it talks about the seed and this is what I mentioned to you um, you can always recover this seed and look at this seed if you want to recover the wallet in future so as far as desktop wallets go Electrum would be my recommended choice if you're starting out in Bitcoin moving on then to web wallets you've got three wallets listed here again you've got the Bitcoin wallet and then you've got mycelium and you've got blockchain.info now I do recommend that you use blockchain.info as your web wallet so again I would recommend you use blockchain.info for your mobile wallet just purely because that's my personal preference um, and it's a good wallet I'm gonna do a further video on mobile wallets and I'm gonna go through all the mobile wallet options in much more detail but if you just want a quick place to start just go to the um, App Store and download the blockchain.info app for a mobile device. A word about mobile wallets, Apple, for reasons of their own, and I'm not going to go into it on this video, have suspended all Bitcoin apps from the App Store. So currently you can only download Bitcoin wallet apps for Android devices. So Apple users unfortunately you can only use a browser-based wallet if you want to use a wallet on your mobile device. So looking at web wallets now, there's three web wallets listed on Bitcoin.org. The three wallets are Blockchain.info, Coinbase and CoinKite. Now I'll just run through briefly these three different online wallets. Blockchain.info is uh, my preferred choice. It's an excellent web wallet. It's in my opinion got the best security out of the three online wallets presented here. Coinbase is an, an excellent website. It's a US based company. It um, has additional features to blockchain.info in that it allows you to send Bitcoin to somebody based on an email address. And it also allows you, if you're based in the U US, to purchase bitcoins. Um, you can register your bank account and you can buy bitcoins using US dollars. Um, but this at the moment is only available to US customers. CoinKite is actually kind of like a Bitcoin bank. Um, they only deal in cryptocurrencies, but you get a wallet. You can get a debit card, which you can use to actually, like you'd use a normal debit card, you can actually use Bitcoin to pay for things. And they've also got a, a POS system for merchants. So they've got some interesting features. But if I was starting off and I was looking for a web wallet, I would go with blockchain.info. They're also a US based company. They allow you to do two factor authentication. So this is good for your security. And we'll go have a look at their website. If you're just starting off and you want to actually get your first wallet, you would use this option here, start a new wallet and you'd register. Um, I've already got a wallet, so I would go to the login now and I've gone into my settings and I've set up two-factor authentication and in my case I'm using Google Authenticator to do this. Now two-factor authentication is an excellent additional security feature which you really should set up if you're going to be using a wallet online because you could be storing lots of bitcoins in here which is worth a lot of money and uh, I'm going to actually do a video on two-factor authentication so you can go have a look at this but you basically download an app from the App Store the Google Authenticator app and it generates a code and you pair your app with your web wallet and the app generates a six-digit code you type in the code into this box here and then you type your normal password and you and it opens your wallet so this means that even if somebody hacked your computer and they had a key logger and they, they figured out your password, they still need your mobile phone to get into your wallet. So it does make it a pretty secure option to use a wallet online. Blockchain are also very good with their security. All the processing is done in your browser. They don't keep anything on their website. They don't keep your private keys or anything. So you may have heard in the news recently about an exchange called 
Mount Gox and uh, they they didn't have good procedures and they managed to lose thousands and thousands of bitcoins and a lot of people lost money because their security wasn't good um, private keys weren't stored with the end user so blockchain.info seems to have got it right and they would be my recommended choice if you were starting out and you wanted an online wallet if you want more advanced features coinbase is an excellent choice as well you can do two-factor authentication on there and CoinKite does look very good they are still developing their features as I'm recording this video but they are an excellent choice and um, it, it, the features like the, the actual debit card and the merchant services look really good and also if you are into Litecoin you can actually um, on the CoinKite wallet you can store Litecoin and Bitcoin so this is a really nice feature because you've got one wallet with more, more than one alt currency or cryptocurrency stored in there. So that is a brief introduction to Bitcoin wallets. I hope it's been useful. I've got many more videos on my YouTube channel and on my website secureyourwallet.com detailing um, a lot of these wallets. Well, there's a lot more detail about installing wallets backing up your private keys, restoring your wallet, transferring your Bitcoin onto paper wallets or onto cold storage and how to safely do this. So if you want to learn more about Bitcoin and about the security of your wallet, please have a look at my channel or my website, www.secureyourwallet.com. So I hope this has been useful and I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.